Man founded then? How did it come about, this devilment thing? It was me in about 2011. Decided I wanted to um, do something uh, by myself, a solo project as such, which turned into a band. Uh, got in touch with Danny at the time and um, said, oh, I need a singer, you know, and he was like, well, you know, I'll come and sing on the album or all the sort of demos we were doing at the time and that's kind of how it started really from there. And that was pretty much it. Just said, uh, yeah, I'll be interested in doing something with this, but it, in between Cradle of Filth stuff. <laughs> but when the songs came to fruition, I actually thought that, wow, it's pretty good. And we just took it one step further from there and that's pretty much what's happened over the last couple of years, ever since uh, Cradle finished their last record. It just got one step more close to being serious with every every month and every song and every demo that passed. The name Devilment suggests a certain glint in the eye and a sort of wry grin. How did you decide upon the name Devilment and what's, uh, what's the meaning behind it for you guys? There's not many, you know, uh, single barrel names going around nowadays. Everybody seems to be like Dentist on Friday and, mm -hmm. you know, Opportunity in Chicago, etc. Um, so I think it's quite apt. It, it explains the, the mentality and the characters in the band quite well. So how, how different is it from Cradle then? You're talking about, you know, you were, you were doing it as a project in between Cradle albums at the time, whereas now it, it seems like it, it's a bit more than, than just a side project. Well, for a start, Cradle's a little more symphonic and a little more rooted lyrically as well in the sort of classics. Whereas this never touches a, a blast beat at any point during, during the proceedings. Um, I think it's more um, beat orientated. Um, yeah, I would, I would put Cradle of Filth in a sort of extreme metal bracket, whereas Devilman, I would say, was leaning way too more, not commercial, but um, avant-garde, maybe. Okay. So you guys, what would you say is the musical direction then? Of because obviously the, the the common the common denominator between Cradle of Filth and Devilman is is Danny's voice. So you guys have come in with a different musical direction, obviously that Danny was talking about. So how would you how would you describe to people the musical direction of Devilman and what people can expect when they when they listen in? I think like you know you've got six people that all listen to six different styles of music. Mm. It can be quite, you know, there's quite sort of ethnic sounds in songs like Mother Carly and then there's sort of quite, quite dancey elements in some of them as well. 